Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. I bought something new. Let's check it out. Okay, I got this from one of my subscribers. Uh, kind of threw it at me there, and I I didn't hear this engine, so I had to search it tonight. And so here's what we got. This is from Engine DIY, and Sterling Kit also has it too. Um, Engine DIY gives you a 10% off coupon. So, anyway, it's, it is a new, it looks just like the Toyin X Power. However, one thing I did notice on here, I don't know if it's going to be a different engine or what, what the deal is going to be, but let's get a close up. Of what it says on the valve cover here. Okay, it says Conberry engine NR-200. Now this is an 8.4 cc engine. Yeah, hold on here, let me get back up here. <laughs> These guys in there. There we go. It's an 8.4 inline two-cylinder four-stroke water-cooled electric start nitro model for eight scale rc car now they claim that this is uh in their description down here when i'm going to read it to you they do have a video and i'll try to find the link for the video and i'll put it down below okay it says here that it is a uh it's a brand new engine specially developed for eight scale rc model car compact lightweight structure to Ensure better compatibility with the RC model, increased output, power, violence, and play resistance, and provides more for subsequent upgrades and expansion applications. Good protection. Whatever that means, I have no clue. Um, sounds like a lot of hype. However, uh, they got the highly simulated uh, simul sim simulation. Um, it's a CNC machined engine, all that stuff. Um, and it says here, large cylinder pressure, um, long stroke effective providently high displacement and torque, a single carburetor, and a high torque starter motor make the engine easier to adjust and start. And the engine has a higher speed than the maximum speed can reach 22,000 RPMs. Now that would be great for our, our uh, nitro clutch debacles. Um, you know we can we can stretch the clutches out so much but we can't get any rpm out of these engines so and this one here i thought was very uh uh it was very intriguing here as i as i read along okay the crankshaft uh, structure is adopted yeah okay well that's i think it's basically half of an l400 or something you know just like the toy and x power but it doesn't say it, it until you get to the end of this description, I figured it's three hundred ninety nine bucks. So's the Toy and X Power. One thing I notice about the Toy and X Power, it has those dual carbs still on the thing. This one has a single carb, and it doesn't look like uh, the Toy and carbs because those carbs have a lot of problems. Okay, okay, it's got the built-in centrifugal water pump, um, just like the the X Power does, and the L four hundred. Uh, cooling ensures an engine works more stable for a long time and a, an adjustable valve train can reduce the risk of wearing and replacing parts That to me was very important an adjustable valve train. I like to hear that um, Because down the road, I mean these things gonna wear right out so And you're gonna be buying the parts over and over and over again. So however they lasted However long they lasted the first time that's how long you're gonna last until you got to replace something again Okay, this engine can be a gift and all that stuff. Yeah, this engine needs to be used with a starter kit, ignition module, glow head, battery fuel tank, and water pipe radiator and fuel, which is just like your other L200s and L400s. Any two-stroke or four-stroke uh, engine they sell basically needs that stuff. Uh, the warm tip. Okay, this is important. The warm tip. This product is um, pre-sold for two months. So I'm looking probably September, maybe, or short September. Hopefully if there's not no... Um, I know the Toy and x Power was not supposed to be out until October, the end of October. And this one says, you know, two months from now. So it's July, so it should be September. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, it says the quantity is not too much, so if you want it, just get it ASAP. But it says here, the actual product is different from the picture and the color matching will be changed. If you mind, buy with caution. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if they're trying to use this as a pre-sale for the Toy and X Power or not. Because if they do, it's going to, I mean, it's, it's not going to be cool. Because the reason I'm buying this is because it's not the Toy and X Power. Okay, I just bought this engine. All right. So if it comes and it's a Toy and X Power, I'm going to be kind of bummed. Because I didn't want a Toy and X Power. I wanted something new. And this says an altogether new engine. Okay. And as you look up here, it says Conberry engine. It doesn't say Toy and. It's an NR200, not a L200. And as we get down to the specifications, color as shown. All right. Metal, or materials metal. It says form kit parts or finished version. I'm kind of confused on that. Uh, nitro engine displacement 8.6 cc, so it's two 4.3 cc's. So, but up there on the top it says 8.4 cc, so it must be a little over. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's not making any sense so far, but I already bought one. Now. Cylinders, inline double cylinder, four stroke, uh, bore diameter, um, 18 millimeters, which I think the other ones were 17, if I'm not mistaken. Stroke is 17. Um, cooling method, water cooling, starting method, electric start. Speed, 3,000 to 18,000 RPMs, up to 22,000 RPMs. So, at best, this is still 2,000 RPMs more than you can get out of the Toy and X power, okay? Um, power, more than one PS. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Per cylinder, maybe. Uh, one horse per cylinder, maybe. I don't know. Um, of course, you got your 12 or 3 um, cell lithium starting power. Dimensions are 10.5 millimeters or centimeters by uh, 10.9.5 centimeters. I don't know. They don't say high, whatever. Uh, it weighs 800 grams, and uh, let's see, packing dimensions, uh, you know, that's a box you're getting. But it just says one set nitro engine. So, I don't know what's, I'm excited about it, because when you get to see this thing running, okay, um, they're test firing it on here. Um, so even if it doesn't come with a red valve cover, as long as it's not a Toy and X power and it's a single carburetor, I'll be happy um, for the simple fact of I was a little I mean I like the toying engines don't get me wrong but I was I was a little skeptical on how vague they were with you know their horsepower and what made it so special um, to me it looks like half of an L400 I have two L400s right now and they're great engines don't get me wrong but they're big you know I mean they're a lot of power so, if this one's a small engine packing big power, then I'll be I'll be happy with what I get. And the way they show it running, um, if you watch the video, I'm not going to post the video on my video because I don't believe in stealing their product. I'll put the link down there for you guys to check it out. Um, when you see it running, it's not spitting a bunch of fuel everywhere. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. And another thing I did notice um, when I was checking this thing out was this. Here, the water nipple is in the back of the head. And then there's one on the side of the block by the water pump uh, down here. Um, there, that goes into your water pump. So, I don't know how it actually works, to be honest with you, because the way they show it going, I don't know if they're if it's running out of this one or into this one. I have mine running into this because the water pump's right there in the, in the you know, rotation of the engine. But they have it, looks like they have it coming out of a tube. In a, you, you watch the video and you tell me, 
which way is the water coming out of? Now it has a single carb up here. That carb looks kind of familiar, if you ask me. Um, so, and I noticed like a lot of things are similar to the FSL 400s, but it has aluminum intake with one carb, and on the other side, it has looks like an exhaust manifold. Uh, let's get this picture here. It looks like it has an exhaust manifold there with, you know, it looks like the same pattern and the same cylinder head as the, as the SFL 400. Um, so I don't know. It's like the, the cutouts are almost exactly the same. Uh, they're staggered. Um, if you look at the video down here, you'll see the staggered holes on the exhaust. And then there's holes straight across on this one. So I don't know, you know, it's all, it's all a mystery. But like I say, I, I seen it. I, I heard it run. It sounds really, really high performance. It sounds really nasty when it's running. It has a really nice clean pop to it when it's running. So, um, it sounds very stable. So, you tell me what you guys think. Three ninety nine. I grab one. It'll be here. I don't know what I'm going to put it in yet, but um, hopefully it's not the Toy and X Power. So, you guys hear any more on this? Hit me up. Let me know. And uh, you guys have a good one now. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you want, and uh, I'll keep you updated on this as well as my other builds. So, you guys have a good one. Adios.